Ready then? You can go ahead. Imagine reaching finals week, but instead of taking all of your finals, being exempt from some due to good grades, that being specifically an A. St. Paul Lutheran High School should implement a system where students can get exempt from finals if they have an A in the class. St. Paul currently requires finals be taken by all students, and while there are some arguments for why it should stay that way, there are also arguments in favor of offering final exemptions. Uh, we need to encourage the school board to actually enact these changes. Uh, just imagine being exempted from a final that you would have had to take just to keep the grade up or even like drop it a little bit because you wouldn't be able to benefit from it. Send emails to Mrs. Marsh, Mr. Beerman, and Pastor Mal and ask them to encourage the board to make the change. Now, there's a bit of history behind this. St. Paul Lutheran High School does currently require finals, and that can be to the detriment of students that have A's because they would only be able to maintain or lower an A with the final. They would not be able to benefit from it. And then it could also potentially cause anxiety. This is from Iman Dawood, who has an edu a doctorate in education. Um, he stated that more than one quarter of the participants uh, experienced mild anxiety, and this is from a test of nursing students who uh, took a test and then took a survey to see who actually experienced anxiety. And there was also another study that said that anxiety actually worsens your grade, based on Cassidy, who has a PhD and a master's in different fields of psychology, um, students that uh, had anxiety scored worse than students without anxiety. And this was even like regardless of overt amounts of study. So even if you did study a lot, anxiety still is a detriment. Um, and based on the GPA of the um, St. Paul Lutheran High School graduating class of 2017, which was posted on the St. Paul Lutheran High School academic page, around 70% of last year's uh, class had A's at some point in their high school career, meaning about 70% of them would have had at least one exemption. Now, some schools do exempt. Um, this is based on different criteria. Some will do it merely based on perfect or good attendance. Some will do it on like the basis of grades. It may not be like exactly a A or something, so that, like they could be exempt from a final that they could still benefit from, which some people might disagree with. It. Um, and then it also could potentially allow someone to study more, because if you're exempt from one final and know this in advance then you could take the time that you would study for that final, studying on other finals, or just relaxing from that uh, stress if you're one of the one quarter people that experience test anxiety. Um, and it could also prevent a grade drop due to the one quarter test anxiety once uh, that Cassidy mentioned also that detriments the grade. Um, there's also arguments that promote requiring final exams, um, like uh, there's one that states that some people may believe that it could help you prepare for college because the final exams may resemble college exams and tests, but still most students do take finals, and this is again referencing the SPLHS academic webpage that only said that one person had a 4.0, so that means that everyone else would have had to take, take at least one final exam. Um, and it's again rare to be completely exempt, but if you, if one already is exempt and has a 4.0, then 
one could potentially think that they would already have the skills necessary for college and would not need to review with a final exam. Carl Spooner stated in an article of his, exemption of a final cumulative test enhances long-term retention. He stated that our study shows that even without extra overt study, expectation of a final exam enhances performance. Now, this is saying that the one could relate this to high school final exams, saying that expecting a final exam could help retention just with a psychological aspect of thinking like, oh, I need to remember this because I will probably have a final for this. Um, that could help you even without studying. But then there's the flip side of it where if you're expecting to be exempt, you may not remember it as long because you're not expecting to need to know that information. However, Jonathan Beagley, who has a PhD in fields of math and science, has said that this interaction is not actually statistically significant. Um, now, the debate could go on forever unless someone actually <coughs> does something about it and does action. Uh, there's several different approaches to how we could enact actual changes. The, we could directly um, approach the school board, like emailing the school board, asking them for direct approval, because ultimately it is their choice, it is in their hands to get this policy enacted. Um, but we could also encourage the faculty or the upper level faculty um, to talk to the school board about it and from there because go just go from there because the school board might react better to essentially peer pressure and this is almost saying that the bandwagon fallacy might work better if implied by peers um, but what happens if we do imagine SPLHS exempting the one quarter of the students that Daw would mention because then they wouldn't have test anxiety, they wouldn't have to deal with that, or at least not on the ones they would be taking. Uh, you could study more or relax more due to that. Um, one may not have the stress that Casty mentioned, because uh, your grade would be worsened by, or could be worsened by anxiety, regardless of studying. And then it could also potentially motivate students to st study and work more throughout the year it could reward everyday attentiveness and in some cases students like in the dorm or something could even reach their break earlier if their finals week I mean if their final exemptions are up like right next to the weekend they could instead of taking final exemptions travel home and of course it's less for the teachers to grade I mean yeah and there's the well yeah SPLHS should adopt a policy allowing students to be exempt from final exams if they have an A in a given class. The school currently requires all students to do this and just imagine being exempt from a final exam you pr probably would have already excelled in because you had an A. Ultimately the decision lies with the school board now go contact higher level faculty maybe even the board and get them in favor of a final exemption policy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause. Yay. Okay. Yes. I went way over time. <laughs> that's, it's not way over, but you went a little over time. Yeah. We can discuss that later, but that's fine. Um, let's have, so yeah, what kind of questions do we have? What is the required GPA to you don't take final? It would not be based on the GPA. It would actually be based on the grade in the individual class which would be an A, because if you even have an A-, minus, you could still benefit from taking a final and getting an A on the final that could potentially bring your final average up and bring you up to an A. Kristen? Uh, like, what's your opinion? Do you think that just going ahead and taking a final could prepare you for college and would be good practice? I, I could see that it, it probably could help, but again, there's, like, it, again, might not, I mean, that's the same. 
I know this seems like maybe a minor detail, however, you stated that it is possible that some students in the dorm could reach breaks earlier. Do you think by keeping everybody on the same schedule, um, requiring them to still stay at school while other finals are happening would alleviate any of this um, travel, I guess any travel plans that may cause problems with trying to find people to take people to the airport or letting people come on campus and be disruptive during other finals when other kids are leaving? Would that be any detriment, I guess, to letting kids go early uh, versus having them just stay with everything it else? It could be a detriment, but it could <clears throat> also be a motivation because um, if students are leaving early, I don't think they would necessarily be leaving from the finals classroom, so if you mm -hmm. are taking a final, you might not notice the other students leaving, mm -hmm. except that just less students are in your class than normally would, so it might actually provide motivations mm -hmm. for other people to get to leave early. Other questions? Can you give me the disadvantages of having of not having finals? Um, some people again believe or may believe that uh, they would help you prepare prepare for college exams, and having less of those, or even in the case of a 4.0, having none of those could potentially not allow for as much practice. Um, and some people, I've also heard the argument that it could cause kind of a case of elitism, but again, that's a kind of a different side of the argument. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No? Okay, we'll give them a round of applause. Thank you very much, Gabe. <clears throat> and if I could...